Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a makeup tutorial that is a bit different for my channel. This is a very easy, easy, simple makeup look. It is perfect for every single day. It is perfect if you're in a rush, but you still want to look put together and a little bit glamorous, okay? So this is not a no makeup makeup look by any means. I can do that. Let me know if you guys want like a completely minimal makeup routine. Um, but this is like... You look like you have makeup on, but it looks natural and effortless and just perfect for every day. So yeah, and what I really love about it is you can put any lipstick, you can put a gloss, a balm, a lip stain, you can do any color because it's just so neutral and easy and you'll just look put together and you'll be ready for any like holiday photos that, you know, just happen to pop up and if you're like me and you're on Snapchat all the time, you want to look a little done up, right? So I'm using the Tartlet in Bloom palette today, which is perfect. It has everything you need in one palette for an everyday look. This makeup look will last you all day into the night. And yeah, I also am not using black or brown um, mascara. So if you want to see exactly how I get this simple, easy, everyday look, then just keep watching. Okay, so let's begin. This is the NYX Angel Veil Primer, and this is just a great everyday primer because it smooths, it makes your makeup last longer. So just putting that all over my face. And then I'm going in with my IT Cosmetics CC Plus Cream, and this is just so easy to use. It has a lot of coverage. It feels nice on the skin. It's hydrating. It's moisturizing. It's so easy. I just use my fingers to spread it all over my face and it just really blends in really, really easily. Then I just go in with my Beauty Blender sponge just to blend it in. You can use a brush for this just to make sure it's all pressed into the skin and blended. Now to conceal my dark circles, this is a Tarte CC under eye corrector and this is a Sigma Precision 3D brush. And I just put this in the corners and underneath my eyes just to brighten everything up and make me look more wide awake. This stuff is the balm. So it's now into concealer. This is the Maybelline Age Rewind. I like to use this stuff on just like a daily basis if I'm not doing anything too crazy because again, it's a simple concealer. So putting that everywhere underneath my eyes and then blending that out with my Beauty Blender. You can also blend it out with a brush or any other kind of sponge that you have. This stuff just lasts all day, conceals everything. It's kind of like no nonsense. And then setting it with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I use my Beauty Blender and I just set that and press it into my skin wherever I put concealer. So underneath my eyes, around my nose, and on my chin. And this stuff will make your makeup last all day. It won't crease. It gives you a flawless like matte finish and I think it's beautiful. Then doing the brows, I'm going to use this is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. And I just brush through them with the spoolie like so and then I go in and fill them in nothing too crazy just for an everyday basis I just kind of fill in the sparse areas draw a line underneath and above and fill them in so you can watch me do this in super fast motion this one's really really great if you can find a good color match for you it, it's exactly like the Anastasia brow is and then brush through them again to blend it all out this is my new favorite this is the NYX uh, tinted brow mascara and this is the shade chocolate this just adds color adds some more shape and just sets your brows in place now onto the eyes. This is the Lori Mercier Caviar Stick in Moonlight. If you don't have this, get it. I have mentioned it so much. It is so perfect. It's just a shimmery kind of pewter shade. I love it. I'm just putting this on my lid and underneath and then blending out the edges with a clean fluffy brush. All right, now going into the Tartlet palette. I love this thing. It's beautiful. It has so many good neutrals. I'm taking the color Charmer, which is just a matte white, and I'm highlighting my brow bone with this, as you can see. Then I'm taking the color Smarty Pants, and it's just a beautiful transition shade. It's like a warm, um, kind of warming neutral brown, and I'm just putting this on with a Sigma E40 um, all over my lid, and focusing that on the outer corners, blending it up. This is all we're going to be using, and then putting that underneath the lower lash line as well to smudge out the pewter shade. Taking the color Funny Girl, which is a champagne shade, and highlighting my inner corners. My favorite shade is Leader, and this is a matte, like, burgundy shade, and this is what I'm going to be using for eyeliner. So I'm taking an angled brush, and I'm just pressing that into my lash line. So little tiny motions here, just going back into the color. You can totally skip this. You can just do a normal liner, but I'm going to do a little bit of a wing. So you can see I flick it out, and then I turn my brush around, 
and then I draw the line back in and connect the line we originally did. But again, just do a normal um, liner line if you want. You don't have to flick it out. I just like to do this. It's, you know, funky. And then I just build that color up. This gives you a soft definition. I really, really like it. Going in with mascara, this is the Clinique Chubby Lash Fattening Mascara in the color Bodacious Black Honey. I love this. It looks black, but it just is a bit more natural and a bit more everyday because it's not as harsh as black. It has this, like, burgundy color. So putting that on top and bottom lashes. Going into my Steven Klein palette, I'm taking NARS Laguna Bronzer and I'm putting this all over my face. I was looking pale today, so I'm putting this on my cheekbones, down my jaw, on my neck, on my forehead, really just everywhere, just everywhere. And I'm gonna contour a little bit. This is, again, in that palette, the contour shade. You can skip this part if you want, if it's too much for you on an everyday basis, but I always have to contour because once you do it, you never go back. You become addicted to how your face looks. Oh, I love it. So underneath my cheekbones, my forehead, and my jawline is where I contour. And this is a natural, natural contour color. Going in with the shade Dolce Vita in the palette, I'm just going to blush with this. Blush with this. This is a beautiful color. It's just a really warm, um, like a nice berry shade. I love it. Makes your cheeks look healthy and alive and perfect for the winter. Now I'm going in with my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Luminous Light. This is the most natural highlighter ever. Again, you can skip this if you want. I just love highlighting, but this is really, really natural for every day. It just gives you a glow as opposed to like a highlight. Perfect, now going in with lips. This is my Sephora Cream Lip Stain in number 13, Marvelous Mauve. And just putting that all over the lips. You can use anything. You can use a lip balm, a lip gloss, whatever you want. I just like this because it lasts all day. It will not budge. And it's just a nice, pretty, neutral, dusty rose color. And that's the finished makeup look. I really hope you guys like this video. It is perfect for every day. I just love this look. It's natural and effortless, but still put together. And if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Still let me know any videos you would like to see down below. Subscribe if you haven't, it is free. And I'll see you in my next video, bye. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I have my November favorites. That means this year is almost done. That's crazy. Anyways, I'm happy for 2016. I didn't love 2015. So let's get on to December and let's get on to the favorites.